Have you ever stumbled upon a TV series that takes you on an emotional roller coaster? Get ready for an unforgettable journey with a show from 1979. It's packed with moments that'll have you laughing, crying, and gasping till the very end. Before we dive in, let me ask you a couple of questions. Firstly, have you ever felt inspired or deeply affected by a particular TV series? Share your personal story with us below. And secondly, do you know any lesser known facts or interesting anecdotes about a certain show? It's always fascinating to uncover hidden gems about our favorite series. Now, let's get back to the excitement. Whether it's laughter, tears, or surprises, this show delivers it all. So, what's your most memorable experience related to it? We'd love to hear your stories and memories. Keep watching for more intriguing tidbits about this captivating series. Get ready for a ride you won't forget. The Facts of Life remains a timeless classic with characters that resonate even after 40 years. While some situations may feel dated, the core themes of friendship and growth are universal. The show seamlessly blends comedy with heartfelt moments, making it a joy to watch. The character development is superb, drawing viewers into the lives of Natalie Green, Joe Palnicek, Tootie Ramsey, and Blair Warner, among others. Mistress Garrett serves as a maternal figure beloved by all, and even the supporting characters like Pippa leave a lasting impression. The acting feels authentic, immersing audiences in the lives of these young women. Despite its 80s setting, the facts of life transcends its era, offering timeless lessons and entertainment for viewers of all ages. Whether you're a fan of classic television or discovering it for the first time, this show is sure to delight. Lisa Welchel, an actress in the series, highlighted her preference for the latter episodes, appreciating the shift towards broader comedy and slapstick. Before joining the Facts of Life, Charlotte Ray had already made a mark in the industry, having appeared in Norman Lear's productions and starred in different strokes. Ray's ties with esteemed individuals from Northwestern University, including Cloris Leachman and Charlton Heston, further enriched her journey. Despite not completing her studies, Ray's commitment to her career remained steadfast. In October 26, Molly Ringwald, well known for her roles in popular 1980s movies like The Breakfast Club and Sixteen Candles, made a big change by performing on stage. She took on the main part in a musical called Sweet Charity, impressing audiences with her many talents and strong stage presence. Meanwhile, George Clooney, whose family has a long history in show business, became a famous actor in his own right. His father, Nick Clooney, and mother, Nina Warren Clooney, were both in the entertainment industry. George is known for being a talented actor and for his work supporting causes he believes in, making him a respected figure in showbiz. Sadly, Marge Doucet, a well-respected actress, passed away, leaving many people feeling sad. Her funeral was arranged by the Walter B. Cook Funeral Home in New York City, where friends, family, and colleagues remembered her, and the impact she made in movies and TV shows. These moments in the lives of these famous people show how much they influence the entertainment world and the people who enjoy it. In the series, the actor Charlotte Ray, known for her role, had a son named Andy who was autistic. Initially, she struggled to understand his condition, but eventually provided him with support and care. Interestingly, when it was time to name Mistress Garrett on the show, Ray insisted the character be named Edna, after her own mother Edna, whom she admired greatly. George Clooney, a familiar face, is actually related to several other notable personalities in the industry, including Miguel Ferrer and Debbie Boone. Cloris Leachman, another notable figure, received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for television in 1980, honoring her contributions to the entertainment industry. Initially conceived as Garrett's Girls, the series aimed to emulate the success of Welcome Back, Cotter, but with a female-centric focus. Kim Fields, one of the cast members, discovered her Jamaican heritage and dedicated herself to assisting Jamaican victims of Hurricane Ivan. Nancy McKeon's character was initially dubbed Foxy until head writers Linda Marsh and Margie Peters intervened. NBC's executive producer Fred Silverman proposed the name Joe, inspired by Joe March from Little Women, aligning with the show's dynamic of four girls and a house mother. This suggestion garnered unanimous approval and became integral to the show's identity. In the realm of television history, several noteworthy figures emerged from the cast of The Facts of Life. Notably, George Clooney, who later attained fame, won a Best Supporting Actor Oscar in 2005, following in the footsteps of his uncle Jose Ferrer, who won the same award in 1950. Additionally, Kim Fields has familial ties to members of the legendary jazz group, the Cadillacs. 
Charlotte Ray, known for her role in the series, was a dedicated supporter of the Sabin Clinic in Los Angeles, where she was discovered by Bernie and Mimi West, who later renamed the clinic in honor of Cheryl and Haim Sabin's generous donation in 28. After its inception as a spin-off from different strokes, the facts of life underwent significant changes. Initially, Edna Garrett, a housekeeper on different strokes, was intended to transition to the role of headmistress at Kimberly Drummond School. However, plans shifted after the pilot episode, retaining Plato on different strokes. Consequently, the series refrained from referencing Kimberly's attendance at Eastland, with Mistress Garrett assuming the position of housemother. Molly Ringwald, a prominent figure in the series, achieved significant recognition, ranking first in VH1's 100 Greatest Teen Stars. The show provided a platform for Ringwald's talent and contributed to her enduring popularity. Throughout the facts of life, characters hailed from diverse backgrounds. Mistress Garrett and Beverly Ann were from Appleton, Wisconsin, Blair and Natalie from Manhattan, Joe from the Bronx, and Tootie from Washington, D.C. These elements contributed to the dynamic narrative of the facts of life, offering viewers a glimpse into the lives of its diverse characters and their experiences at Eastland School. In one memorable episode from its first season, a popular TV show's characters faced an unexpected challenge they had to step on a scale. This wasn't just made up for the show either. According to Charlotte Ray, the actress who played Mistress Garrett, the show's creators were serious about making the actress's way in every week. They wanted to keep track of the cast weights, showing the pressures and norms of that time. It all started with a surprise visit from Mackenzie Aston, who comes from a famous Hollywood family. His dad, John Aston, known for playing Gomez Adams in the Adams family, visited the set and caught the producer's attention. It's interesting to see how personal connections and industry norms played a role behind the scenes of this TV show. These stories give us a peek into how TV shows are made, mixing creativity with personal connections and industry rules. It's fascinating to learn these details about a show that has been loved by many. Whether it's heartwarming stories or interesting behind-the-scenes tales, this show continues to captivate audiences, even after many years. Charlotte Ray, known for her role in The Facts of Life, attended the James Stewart Centennial Tribute in Beverly Hills. The event was hosted by Robert Wagner and saw the presence of notable personalities like Anne Rutherford, Shirley Jones, Cora Sue Collins, and Kelly Stewart, daughter of James Stewart. Meanwhile, George Clooney announced his collaboration with director John Madden to produce Gates of Fire, a film based on the historic Battle of Thermopylae in 480 BC. Interestingly, Charlotte Ray's favorite sitcom was All in the Family, where she made a guest appearance on one episode. In an unexpected turn of events, Mindy Cohn joined the group after meeting Charlotte Ray at Westlake School for Girls. Ray really liked Cohn and decided to create a character named Natalie based on her. On another note, Nancy McKeon, who played a significant role in the series, had her second child in December 2006. It's interesting that McKeon shares her birthday with the anniversary of Martin Luther King's death, making it a memorable coincidence in her life. Cloris Leachman, born in Polk County, was the daughter of Berkeley Claiborne Buck Leachman and wife Cloris Wallace. George Clooney, who later became known in the industry, served as a pallbearer at the funeral of his late aunt, Rosemary Clooney. Actress Charlotte Ray, who played Mistress Garrett, discovered Mindy Cohn and also named her character Natalie. Ray met Cohn after noticing her entertaining a group of friends at Harvard Westlake School in Los Angeles during research for the show. It was a chance encounter that led to Cohn's role in the series. In a spin-off episode featuring the characters Jenny, Tootie, Sue Ann, Molly, and Nancy, one character named Jenny vanished when the series began. Molly was one of the four remaining regular girls after the first season, as the producers sought to introduce Joe by streamlining the cast. George Clooney, who spends several months a year in his villa in Laglio at Lake Como, Italy, is known to be among the show's fans. According to Molly Ringwald, Molly's character was deemed expendable to make room for Joe's introduction. Life often brings challenges, but it's how we face them that defines us. One such example is Charlotte Ray, who played a beloved character on a popular TV show. Despite health struggles, she shared valuable lessons about embracing each day and loving herself. Similarly, George Clooney, known for his later success, battled a smoking habit influenced by his upbringing in tobacco fields. He eventually quit after losing a loved one to lung cancer. Horace Leachman, another familiar face from the show, honed her acting skills at a respected acting studio. Each of these individuals, with their unique journeys, left their mark on the fabric of the TV series. 
In the world of television, some actors have left their mark not just through their performances, but also through their off-screen endeavors. One example is Lisa Welchel, who gained fame on a popular TV series. She's appeared on a Christian talk show, sharing stories from her career and life. Then there's Orson Bean, another familiar face from the same show. Beyond acting, he started a school in New York City focused on the arts. It's had a big effect on the artistic community, and who could forget George Clooney? He too got his start on this show. Before hitting it big in Hollywood, he honed his acting skills at the Beverly Hills Playhouse. These actors come from different backgrounds and experiences adding depth and authenticity to the characters they play. Their performances continue to be loved by audiences worldwide. Crafted with passion and dedication, their work embodies the timeless appeal of classic TV. Nicholas Koster portrayed the U.S. president in unused footage of the film Contact in 1997. This served as a precaution for the filmmakers in case something happened to President Bill Clinton before the film's release. Dick O'Neill was a charter member of the arena stage in Washington, D.C. at the beginning of the first season of The Facts of Life. Tootie was 12 years old, as 10 years old Kim Fields would have been too young to be a student at Eastland Girls School. However, in the later seasons, this age discrepancy was ignored. Tootie's age reverted to the actual age of actress Kim Fields, resulting in several later storylines revolving around Tootie driving, turning 16, and graduating from high school when the character should have been two to three years older at that point. Among the cast of The Facts of Life, notable actors like Molly Ringwald, George Clooney, and Mackenzie Aston have left their mark beyond the show. Ringwald's association with the 80s Brat Pack movies led to a band named the Molly Ringwalds covering 80s hits. Clooney, known for his pranks, once swapped Brad Pitt's license plate frame with a provocative one, resulting in Pitt being pulled over by the LAPD. As for Aston, his heritage includes English, Irish, Scottish, and German roots. These actors have diverse backgrounds that contribute to their unique personas both on and off screen. Cloris Leachman starred in several films alongside Madeline Kahn, including Young Frankenstein, High Anxiety, The Muppet Movie, History of the World Part I, and My Little Pony the Movie. Charlotte Ray, on the other hand, had a diverse range of hobbies and interests, such as golfing, dancing, dining, collecting photo albums, spending time with family, listening to opera, caring for people with disabilities, singing, and sewing. In the pilot episode Rough Housing of the Facts of Life, the gang from Different Strokes visits Mistress Garrett. Mr. Drummond questions if her house mother role is permanent, to which she replies it isn't. Despite this, she never returns to the Drummonds. However, Charlotte Ray does make one guest appearance on Different Strokes after her departure in the wedding. Charlotte Ray's journey to fame took a big turn when she got the role of Edna Garrett on a popular TV show, thanks to her good friend Norman Lear. This moment was really important for her career, and it led to her becoming a well-known face on TV. Soon after, she played the same character in another show that lots of people loved. As she moved into this new role, Ray's career took off, even though she was getting older. She was able to impress people in different types of TV shows, showing off her talent. She also had a lot of fans who loved her for being warm and funny. Outside of TV, Ray liked watching serious TV shows and old classics. This showed that she really appreciated good stories, whether they were on TV or in movies. Years later, even as TV changed a lot, Ray's influence stayed strong. What she did in the industry was more than just acting. It showed how much she loved what she did. And so, the story of Charlotte Ray from her simple beginnings to her rise to TV fame is remembered in the history of television, showing how talent and friendship can take you far. In 1979, George Clooney worked at a Cincinnati department store. He encountered a peculiar trend where some women surgically removed their fourth toe to fit into tight shoes. Clooney found this disturbing and avoided serving such customers. Meanwhile, Marge Doucet, a cast member, previously performed with a comedy group in Los Angeles. During the final season, a decision was made for one character to lose their virginity. Initially, Blair was chosen, but Lisa Welchel objected due to her Christian beliefs and concerns about her character's influence on young viewers. Mindy volunteered instead as her character was in a long-term relationship and the writers agreed it was time for this storyline. In the early days of the series, Tootie sported roller skates everywhere, from indoors to outdoors, even on stairs and during a horseback ride in a flash flood. Surprisingly, by the second season's first episode, titled The New Girl, she ditched the skates without any mention. They only resurfaced briefly six years later during a reunion episode titled Little Chill. 
Lisa Welchel, a star of the show, faced controversy for endorsing the hot saucing method of discipline in her parenting books. This method involves placing a small amount of hot sauce on the child's tongue to impart discomfort as a disciplinary measure. Critics likened it to child abuse, but Welchel defended it, emphasizing using just a dab and avoiding lasting harm. In a different vein, George Clooney's The Peacemaker co-star Nicole Kidman presented him with his Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in 2006. Nicholas Coster honed his acting skills at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts in London. Nancy McKeon currently resides on a ranch in Austin, TX, with her husband, Mark Andrus, and their daughters, Aurora Andrus and Harlow Andrus. Kim Fields is busy filming a TV movie related to the show, along with engaging in stage work and directing movies for her production company, Victory Productions. These updates shed light on the varied endeavors of the cast beyond their roles in the series. In a parody of Demi Moore's iconic Vanity Fair cover, Cloris Leachman posed on Natural for Alternative Medicine Digest in 1997. The cover featured her body painted with fruit images. The building shown as Eastland in the series is the Harewood Court Dormitory of Pomona College, situated in Claremont, California. Charlotte Ray, diagnosed with bone cancer in 2017, passed away in 2018, just days after her 92nd birthday. Survived by her son, three grandchildren, and sister Mimi, Ray's death closely preceded that of singer Aretha Franklin. Cloris Leachman starred alongside Eileen Brennan in four films together. Initially, Norman Lear invited Charlotte Ray to join a different TV show, but she declined due to contractual obligations with CBS. However, Lear managed to release her from the contract, with Ray eventually paying him a nickel for his efforts. Ray left the show at the start of its eighth season, feeling her character had become repetitive. Despite her attempts to reduce her role, the producers and NBC disagreed with her decision, leading to her replacement by Cloris Leachman, who remained with the show until its end in 1988. The Facts of Life introduced Mackenzie Aston, who is the younger half-brother of actor Sean Aston. Another notable cast member, Molly Ringwald, showcased her vocal talents as a child by singing patriotic songs on a Disney album. The show faced controversy when an episode centered around the loss of virginity was proposed. Initially meant for Blair's character, Lisa Welchel opposed the storyline due to her Christian beliefs. When revisited in the final season, Mindy Cohn's character was suggested instead, leading to Welchel's boycott of the episode. Ironically, Welchel appeared in episodes addressing drug use, drinking, and shoplifting. Charlotte Ray, diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, underwent successful treatment after early detection. She shared her family's story to raise awareness and advocated for detailed testing, joining the Pan Can Action Network. George Clooney, known for his role in the Facts of Life, advocated for peace in Darfur, urging Chinese and Egyptian officials to intervene. An anti-gay joke in the show script was vetoed by Ray, emphasizing respect for all sexualities. These actions highlight the cast's commitment to social issues beyond the screen. The show had a unique distinction of having an all-female lead cast making it the longest-running series of its kind. However, it did feature some recurring male characters, with John Lawler being a regular during the first season. Questions often arose about how the cast managed to avoid the pitfalls that many child actors faced. Interestingly, despite being in close proximity to the tumultuous lives of the cast of Different Strokes, the cast members of The Facts of Life remained relatively unscathed. Kim Fields attributed this to the solid, grounded families the four girls came from. Cloris Leachman, a notable cast member, shared a close bond with Phyllis Love from their high school days at Roosevelt High School in Des Moines, Iowa. Their friendship endured, and Leachman was later honored with induction into the Theodore Roosevelt High School Hall of Fame in 1987. This blend of camaraderie and stability behind the scenes likely contributed to the enduring popularity and success of the series. In The Facts of Life, Molly Ringwald declined the role in Some Kind of Wonderful, which severed her ties with John Hughes. This decision left Hughes upset. Marge Doucet, known for her mastery of dialects, was also skilled at impersonating celebrities like Katherine Hepburn and Marilyn Monroe. Jo initially portrayed a tomboy favoring jeans and cargo pants, but her style shifted drastically in season 9, where she embraced dresses and skirts. These changes added depth to the character dynamics. In a recent interview, Charlotte Ray revealed that there was a scale on set, and all the girls had to weigh in weekly. This is ironic because they also weighed themselves on camera in the dieting episode. As a child, Ray acted with the Wauwatosa Children's Theater and performed on the radio. Cloris Leachman has appeared in five films selected for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress 
including Kiss Me Deadly, Butch Cassidy, and The Sundance Kid, The Last Picture Show, Young Frankenstein, and The Muppet Movie. Nicholas Coster, father of three children, Candace, Deneen, and Ian, played a significant role in The Facts of Life. At 16, Charlotte Ray apprenticed with The Port Players, a professional theater company. Nancy McKinn formed a close bond with Ray after her departure from the series in 1986. Nearly a decade later, McKinn invited Ray to appear as a guest star on her sitcom Can't Hurry Love, maintaining their friendship. These connections highlight the enduring relationships formed during the show's run. In its initial season, the facts of life didn't reach the top 30. Linda Marsh and Margie Peters stepped in as writers afterward. The setting shifted across seasons from Eastland Academy to Mistress Garrett's Food Shop, then to Over Our Head Store. The show nearly returned for a 10th season in 1988, but Lisa Welchel's departure in season 9 led to its end. George Clooney, known for his humor, was spoofed in South Park and Team America World Police, commenting humorously on the latter. Thus, the series concluded after nine seasons. Charlotte Ray, known for her role as Edna Garrett, created the character Natalie Green with her future co-star Mindy Cohn, based on one of her high school friends. Ray portrayed the character Edna Garrett, not only in The Facts of Life, but also in Different Strokes and Hello, Larry. Lisa Welchel, another cast member, organized reunions for the cast of the new Mickey Mouse Club, which helped launch her career. These connections between the cast members show the camaraderie and lasting bonds formed during their time on the show. In The Facts of Life, Charlotte Ray, an alumna of Stella Adler Studio of Acting, played a significant role. George Clooney, who appeared in the series, has an impressive list of achievements in film, including nominations for Best Actor and Best Director. Megan follows another familiar face from the show, later starred in the 1985 Canadian Broadcasting Corporation production of Anne of Green Gables. Despite her appearance as one of Joe's relatives in a season three episode, plans for a spinoff focusing on Joe's family never materialized for follows. Instead, she found success in the Canadian classic, which gained international acclaim. In an interesting turn of events, actor Orson Bean, well known for his roles in a TV show called The Facts of Life, provided the voices for both Bilbo and Frodo Baggins in different versions of The Return of the King. This double role is similar to what Sir Ian Holm did in a radio version by the BBC. Notably, Bean helped start a group called Sons of the Desert to honor the comedy of Laurel and Hardy. On a different note, Charlotte Ray, who also starred in The Facts of Life, named a character after her son Andy, who had autism. The character Andy Moffat, played by Mackenzie Aston, had a special significance for Ray within the series. In the world of entertainment, amidst the glitz and glamour, actors often face unique challenges. During breaks in filming, Lisa found herself at a special retreat where the goal wasn't to lose weight, but to gain it for her role. Meanwhile, Mindy faced pressure because of her small size, with wardrobe departments always trying to hide it with loose clothing. Despite these challenges, the cast grew close, sometimes even getting into playful fights. Joan Rivers jokingly called them the fats of life, showing both the irony and their unity. There were also some unexpected physical moments on set like when Blair got hit not once, but twice during a scene. But amidst all the drama, there were also sweet moments. Molly Ringwald often remembers a simple kiss from a movie as her favorite, showing that sometimes it's the little things that stick with you. In the world of showbiz, there's more to it than just what you see on screen. Each actor's story adds to the big picture, creating a legacy that will be remembered for years to come. In the mid-70s, Kim Fields broke barriers as a successful female child star of color, a rarity until then. The series began with a four-episode trial in late summer, 1979, before returning as a mid-season replacement in early spring, 1980. Charlotte Ray, despite her pivotal role, felt distanced by her co-stars during the show's run. It wasn't until almost a decade later that Nancy McKeon revealed the reason the girls saw Ray as a boss rather than a colleague, unaware she had no say in their firing. Despite this, Ray remained on good terms with Lisa Welchel, Nancy McKeon, Mindy Cohn, and Kim Fields after the series ended. She even guest starred in McKeon's show Burning Bed in 1995 upon McKeon's request. In the world of entertainment, there's a famous TV show that almost got called Eastlake Academy, but ended up being known as The Facts of Life. It became really popular, and even George Clooney, one of the actors, stood up to paparazzi by refusing to appear on a show called Entertainment Tonight. Another actor, Kim Fields, was voted as the most talented in her high school class in Burbank. These little stories show how the people involved in the show went on all sorts of different journeys in the entertainment world. In the world of entertainment, 
Some actors stand out not only for their acting skills, but also for their unique talents. One such example is Nancy McKeon, who not only acted well, but also showed off her skills in martial arts, giving her character an interesting edge. Meanwhile, Charlotte Ray, another respected actor, faced the loss of her longtime friend and fellow actor-comedian Paul Lind. Ray and Lind weren't just friends from their school days. They also worked together on several projects like The Paul Lind Show and The Hollywood Squares. What's intriguing is that Ray even sang the opening theme song for the show's first season, proving her versatility as an entertainer. However, even the most experienced performers can have their moments of forgetfulness, as Ray hilariously demonstrated during a talk show appearance when she forgot the song's lyrics momentarily. These behind-the-scenes stories and connections give us a deeper understanding of the relationships and experiences within the show's cast, making its history more meaningful for future audiences. Television has seen its fair share of memorable moments and interesting stories. Take, for instance, the tale of Jerry Jewell, who made history by being the first actress with cerebral palsy on TV. She broke barriers, showing her skills as an actor and opening doors for others like her. Then there's Charlotte Ray, who got some smart advice about the power of a good name. She changed her last name to Ray, and it surely played a part in her success in Hollywood. And let's not forget Nancy McKeon, known for her role as Jill Polniacek. She caused a bit of a fuss when she joked about not wanting to join a reunion. Her honesty added a twist to the talk about getting the cast back together. These stories from the facts of life show us the different paths its cast members took. Every choice they made, every milestone they reached, and every funny or serious moment they had added to TV history. And they keep inspiring audiences and actors alike with their strength, humor, and talent. Mindy Cohn, who starred in The Facts of Life, stays in touch with her co-star Kim Fields. When Different Strokes became a hit, NBC saw potential for a spin-off. Fred Silverman, a network executive, believed Charlotte Ray could lead her own show. In one episode, sex symbol Tootie's roller skates appear on her bunk bed, a subtle reference to an earlier season. This demonstrates the show's attention to detail and continuity. In its early days, the cast of The Facts of Life was already making waves. Cloris Leachman, known for her versatility, appeared as a guest star in several primetime television series in 1962. Nancy McKeon, the younger sister of Philip McKeon, brought her own flair to the show. Meanwhile, George Clooney, before his acting career took off, dabbled in sports and even directed films related to his family's professions. His father's endeavors as a news anchor inspired one of his directorial works. These connections add depth to the series, enriching the viewer's experience. Each actor's background brings a unique dimension to the screen, making the facts of life more than just a typical TV show. In the series, George Clooney sought the role of Jack Cole in Sideways, but was turned down by the director. He deals with a recurring form of malaria, a condition he'll have for life. Fred Silverman, then NBC chief, suggested the character Joe after seeing Little Darlings. Joe's streetwise nature added contrast to the wealthy Blair character. Mindy Cohn, during an appearance on Watch What Happens Live in 2012, expressed her views on the series' decline, citing instances where the storyline deviated from its original trajectory. Specifically, she pointed out the plot twist involving the burning down of Edna's edibles and the subsequent opening of Over Our Heads at the beginning of a later season. Alex Rocco's personal life intersected with real-world events, as his girlfriend was approached by Charlestown mobster Georgie McLaughlin in 1961, which ignited the Boston-Irish gang war. Although Rocco was considered a suspect in the murder of Bernie McLaughlin, he was never formally charged. Cloris Leachman's career accolades included winning both the Best Supporting Actress Oscar and the Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series Emmy. Only one other actress, Allison Janney, shares this achievement, having earned both awards for her roles in different mediums. Following its second season, the series shifted focus from a large boarding house to a smaller group of older adolescent women aiming for a more mature tone to attract higher ratings. The cast was trimmed down to four main characters, including the introduction of Joe. Charlotte Ray, one of the show's stars, attended Norman Lloyd's 100th birthday celebration in 2014. Another notable actor from the series, Cloris Leachman, appeared in both the original and revived versions of The Twilight Zone alongside Bill Mummy. These connections showcase the diverse backgrounds and experiences of the cast members. Charlotte Ray cherished the camaraderie she shared with John Lawler, considering him her confidant amidst the whirlwind of the set. Their friendship endured, weathering the ebbs and flows of cast changes and the evolution of the show's dynamics. Fellas Schachter's brief stint in the series left a mark, 
though her departure before the second season was a twist in the narrative. As the ensemble cast shifted, George Clooney's recurring presence added depth to the storyline. Beyond the screen, Clooney's familial ties were intriguing. His sister, Adelia Ada Clooney Zeidler, brought a rich history to the table. Ada's husband, Norman Monroe Zeidler, added layers to the narrative as an artist and a former U.S. Army captain. Their family expanded with the arrival of Allison and Nick, shaping their own unique storylines off-screen. Such behind-the-scenes tales added a depth to the show's legacy, enriching the experience for both cast and audience alike. In the world of television, a mix of familiar faces and new twists keeps audiences hooked. Recently, Cloris Leachman popped up in a guest role, known for her past work in various series. Meanwhile, Orson Bean, recognized as Andrew Breitbart's father-in-law, shared a life with Susanna Bean. Adding to the excitement, Charlotte Ray returned to the small screen after a break, reprising her role in different strokes. These moments, carefully orchestrated by the creators, create a captivating story for viewers worldwide. In the early stages of her film career, Molly Ringwald drove a silver VW Rabbit convertible. However, as her collaboration with John Hughes progressed and culminated in Pretty in Pink, she upgraded to a white BMW. Marge Doucet, a founding member of the late 1960s L, a comedy improv troupe The Session, shared the stage with notable figures like Rob Reiner, Richard Dreyfuss, and Larry Bishop. George Clooney, known for his diverse roles, portrayed a gangster in several films including From Dust Till Dawn and Ocean's Eleven. The core cast of the series, including Charlotte Ray, Lisa Welchel, Kim Fields, Mindy Cohn, and Nancy McKeon, graced the screen from 1980 to 1986. They reunited after 25 years in 2011 to accept the Pop Culture Award at the TV Land Awards. Charlotte Ray, who portrayed Edna Garrett, shared more than a character's background with her role. Both Ray and Garrett hailed from Wisconsin and shared a political affiliation as Democrats. Notably, George Clooney served as the best man at Richard Kind's wedding. Molly Ringwald, known for her role in the series, is married to Panio Genopoulos, a writer and book editor. Cloris Leachman, who appeared in the show, served as the Grand Marshal in 29. As for George Clooney, he mentioned in a DVD commentary that he borrowed $200 from Grant Heslov in 1982 to purchase his first set of headshots, marking the beginning of their enduring friendship and later collaboration as writing and producing partners. These connections offer glimpses into the lives and careers of the individuals associated with the show. In the late 1970s, during the retooling of a well-known television series, producers of a popular show spotted Nancy McKeon in a Hallmark commercial where she showcased her ability to cry on cue. The decision to cast her as Joe was made when the casting director recognized her potential to embody the desired character type. Initially, Joe's character wore tomboyish attire to distinguish her from other characters and to prevent McKeon's natural beauty from overshadowing her portrayal. However, as the series progressed, Joe's wardrobe and makeup evolved, showcasing McKeon's beauty in later seasons. Despite her talent and suitability for various roles, McKeon was considered for the part of Monica on another well-known series, but the role ultimately went to Curtin e. Cox. These elements add depth to McKeon's career trajectory, showcasing her versatility and the impact of her performances. Did you know that some actors from a popular TV show have had quite interesting lives beyond their roles? One actor from the show, known for his roles in movies about stealing, continued his successful career with notable films such as From Dust Till Dawn, Out of Sight, and The Ocean's Trilogy. Another actor from the show was arrested in 1999 while protesting against a police shooting. And yet another actor from the show went back to England to study acting after appearing in it. These actors have had diverse careers beyond the small screen, showcasing their talents in various projects.